Well, what it boils down to is we've got to take a closer look at our bills. Hey, what's going on in here? We're having a family meeting. Oh, I get it. Freeze out the alien. I guess I'm not part of the family. Oh, uh, Alf, uh, we thought you were watching the Three Stooges. I turned it off. Somehow, I just can't buy Shemp as a surgeon. Curly was a senator once. True. And Moe was Speaker of the House. Could we uh, put an end to the stooge talk here for a minute? Certainly. <laughs> ah, ah. We'd like to get back to our meeting. Oh, yeah. The meeting I wasn't invited to. It's, uh, it's about our family budget. What'd you think I was going to do? Dominate the conversation? Be a nuisance? No, Alf, nobody ever said. Throw out a lot of pointless suggestions? Interrupt everybody? Oh, we never said. Never let anyone get a word in edgewise? Alf! <laughs> you can come to the meeting. No, thanks. <laughs> Let's just take a look at our electric bill, for example. It's three times what it used to be. Maybe it's the porch light you leave on every time I go out. Porch light stays. <laughs> and we've been keeping the thermostat down to 70. And I turn off the dryer as soon as I wake up. Well, we're just going... The, the dryer? What do you mean, turn off the dryer? Why, why would you even turn it on? To keep me company at night. Why? Is eight hours too long? Yes. What if I just leave it on delicates? Leave it off. Now, let's get back to the rest of our money problems. No chance of your getting a better job, I suppose. I like my job. The money's fine. Who made this call to Munich? Munich, Germany? Munich? That has to be a mistake. No, it's not. You called Munich? Why? Remember the vacuum cleaner I broke? Yeah. Well, the repair place said they couldn't get the chicken salad out of the impeller blade. And they had to send it to Germany for an overhaul. But that doesn't explain why you'd call Germany. Hey, I believe in following things through. Well, let's move on to another problem. Food. I'm gonna go get some cookies. I don't think all of us are aware how much food costs. We're all out of macaroons. All we got are chocolate chips. Let alone how much food is being consumed, for that matter. Is something wrong? You're eating all our food. I'm beginning to realize what this is all about. The fingers are being pointed in the direction of the furry visitor. You all think I'm a parasite. No one thinks you're a parasite. All right, a freeloader. Freeloader's closer. What about a sponger? Where did you ever hear that word? That's what you called him last week. Oh, I see. Let's just settle on parasite and move on. Fine. If you want me, I'll be in my room. Not wasting money. <laughs> I just checked into the Parasite Hotel. <laughs> they ain't got a porter or a bell. I checked into that Parasite Hotel. Oh, I'm sorry. Was I playing too loud? I didn't know you could play the piano. Well, I was winging it. It's tough to play without the red keys. You seem kind of down. Maybe I'm just being overly sensitive about 
being called a freeloader, sponger, and parasite. We didn't mean to call you any of those things. You, you just happened to catch us in a moment of... Honesty. It's just a matter of making a few adjustments. You know, we... No need to lay it out, Katesky. I hear you loud and clear. I've got to get a job. A job? That's right. It's nose to the grindstone time for this parasite. What the... What could you even do? Well, on Melmac, I owned and operated my own phlegm dealership. Phlegm dealership? Ever drive one? The phlegm turbo was a classic. Must be some other options. Well, there was a sunroof, but uh, it was best to keep it closed. Uh, you don't need to get a job. Listen, if you really want to contribute, we'll give you a few chores to do around the house. How would that be? You mean fluffing up pillows? Stuff like that? Well, no, but you could um, help fold laundry, uh, load the dishwasher. No. No, not that. We'll think of something. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Chores. Fine for the beaver, but not exactly tycoon territory. Uh, I've got to find a way to earn money now. But how? Looking for a way to earn money now. <laughs> Call this toll-free number. Opportunity knocks. <laughs> well, hello? Yeah, uh, when do I start? <laughs> huh? Oh, oh, Alf. Uh, my name is Alf. Yeah. Have I earned any money yet? <laughs> What do you mean I have to sell something first? All right, fine. Send it here and I'll sell it. Uh, 167 Hemdale. It's a beige house. You can't miss it. Yeah, great. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Before I forget, one more question. What am I going to be selling? Um, what are you doing with cosmetics? Huh? Oh, didn't I tell you? I got a job. I'm a Terry Faith girl. I thought you were an alien. Why can't I have the best of both worlds? But, Al, how can you sell Terry Faith cosmetics? Lynn, honey, I know exactly what you're gonna say. I can't do the public number, right? Ha! Well, just send that worry packing. I make it all happen over the phone. But don't you have to know something about makeup before you can sell it? That's the great thing about this company. They welcome ignorance. <laughs> have you ever had a Terry Faith facial? Can't say that I have. But you don't know anything about this stuff. Honey, honey, that's why we have this book. The Wonderful World of Terry Faith Cosmetics. Let's check it out here. Here we go. Terry Faith was born outside of Dayton, Ohio, at a bend in the road near the turn of the century. What does it say about how to give a facial? Don't you want to hear about the early years? I do. I don't. Let's skip to the facial part. All right, okay. Here we go. Chapter one. The facial part. Here, hold this. Let me see here. This must be the stuff. Come on, Lynn, get down here. Let's give it a shot. It says, apply liberally to customers' face and neck. What do you think? Just a little bit. Yeah, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There, it's going on real smooth. Just, just a little bit. It says apply liberally. Okay. All okay, right. Apply liberally. All right. That's what I'm doing. All right. All right. Here we go. I'm applying it. Good. Okay. Good. Now, uh, now for cheek color, I think Terry suggests something like uh, evening lobster. Can I see a mirror? Not yet. Not yet. Now I want you to suck in those cheeks real tight, like this. Super. Let's do this. There we go. Oh. Oh. Yeah. It's too quiet. For reading? For the house. Where's Al? Oh, I don't know. He could be resting. He could be reading. He could be carrying our towels to the den. Excuse me, Al. Yo. Uh, why are you carrying our towels to the den? Aren't we a curious George tonight? <laughs> Hello? 
We'd like an answer to that question. It's for you. Someone named Ginger. <gasps> oh, oh, here, hold this, hold this. Yeah. Hello? Yeah. Hiya, Ging. Yeah. What's cooking? Uh-huh. Yeah, uh-huh. Oh, how's Oscar's hernia? <laughs> oh, good. That's good news. Oh, Ginge, I couldn't agree more. Yeah, those hunting sachets are going to be very hot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, send me a ton of those. A uh, hunting sachets? Newcomer of the month, moi? <laughs> well, I don't know what to say. I'm floored. I'm agog. I'm absolutely silly. <laughs> yeah, okay, look, gotta run, hon. Love to Bridget and Peg. Bye-bye. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Let's just start at the beginning. Who's Ginger? And why are you talking to her about hunting sachets? And uh, if you'll pardon my ignorance, what are hunting sachets? <laughs> All right. I was gonna tell you anyway. I have a job. A what? A job. I'm in the rouge-slinging game. What? That's uh, trade lingo for beauty rep. What? I'm selling cosmetics. Alf, I thought we decided against your getting a job. This isn't a job. It's a glittering, fast-paced career. If I play my cards right, I can bring home twice what the civil servant here does. The civil servant doesn't need you to sell cosmetics. The civil servant is doing just fine, thank you very much. Mom, where are all the towels? Oh, the towels are in here. Alf, Alf was just about to tell us why. Well, maybe he needed some storage space. Oh, you could drop the cover, Lynn. I've blown the lid off of Operation Makeup. Lynn, you mean you knew about this and didn't tell us? Well, Alf asked me not to say anything until he made enough money to bail out the civil servant. Yeah, I mean, I finally feel like a productive member of society. I'm pulling my weight, Willie. By selling cosmetics? Yeah, Dad. He is really excited about working. Let's give him a chance. Yeah, yeah, wait till you check out these goods. I'll be right back. You know, Willie, honey, it is kind of nice that he wants to help us out. Well, I guess we should be supportive for a while. And then if he does manage to show a profit, not that we need it. All right, here we go. Sit down, Katie did. Let's try to reverse the ravages of time. What? Hey, come on, don't fight it, Kate. It happens to everyone, all right? Really? Do I look old? Kate, honey, listen to me, all right? And I mean this. It's not that you look old. It's, it's just that a woman of such radiant beauty should let her, her lasting loveliness bloom with the passage of time. Oh, brother. No, let him talk. We're all going to be supportive, remember? All right. Oh, uh, Alf, maybe maybe I'll buy something. Um, what do you recommend? Well, uh, I say that uh, our sub-reflective chin-buffing paste is a must. Really? How much is that? Fifty dollars. <laughs> or twenty. <laughs> How much you got? Five. Sold. You got a real flair for the business end of the thing, too. Hey. I didn't get voted Newcomer of the Month for nothing. <laughs> How could you be voted Newcomer of the Month when you haven't sold anything yet? Ha! It's not how much you sell, it's how much you buy. <laughs> well, uh, exactly how much did you buy? I'll have to check my day planner. William Tanner? Yes? I got a delivery here for you from the Terry Faith Company. Hold it. Wait just a minute. I'm not signing anything. No signatures necessary. This was all paid for over the phone. I'll be back with the rest when I get a bigger truck. Keep the faith. $4,000. Yep, that matches my total. <laughs> Alf, how were you able to purchase $4,000 with a makeup? Plastic. I put it on your visa. Oh, incidentally, you're over your limit. You used my credit card to buy $4,000 worth of makeup? Come on, you'll get it all back. The markup on this stuff is outrageous. Here, look, you're already five bucks ahead. Elf, 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 what are you doing? This stuff turns green. Well, it 
say here? Dayton, Dayton, her first marriage, puffy eyes, the return to Dayton. Oh, here we go, when things turn green. What, you're gonna leave the kid looking like that? Lynn, go help your brother take his makeup off. Okay, come on. You have abused the trust of this family far too long. You're grounded. Oh, no phone, no television, no nothing. Nothing. we get this makeup mess straightened out. My career really threatens you, doesn't it, Willie? Yes, financially. Life's funny. You try and help someone out and boom, they turn on you like a wild animal. <laughs> If that's another one of your delivery men. No, that's probably the girls. The girls? I'm sorry, the women. What women? The customers. The ones coming to the Terry Faith party. That's what the towels were for. It is. It's women. <laughs> you are not to entertain customers in this house. Of course I'm not. You are. What do you mean we are? I was trying to explain it to you. See, your role in the Terry Faith sales family is to play host and hostess to my customers. If that means selling your makeup, forget it! Willie, Willie, these products sell themselves. You don't have to do a thing! Except entertain a house full of strangers. Relax. They'll be wearing name tags. Oh, and by the way, don't take any personal checks. Willie! Don't worry, don't worry. I'm going to put an end to this right now. <laughs> Ladies. Oh, hi. Okay. What a very show. Hi. Hi. Yeah. hi, hi. No, I'm not Elf. Oh, then you must be his assistant, Willie. Where's Elf? Elf is at a... Uh... a director's meeting. Ooh. Yeah. Yes, right. Uh, ladies, if I may have your attention, please, about these products. Willie, hon, you don't have to sell us. The products sell themselves. I'll have an espresso. Oh, gee, that sounds good. Could you sprinkle a little cinnamon on mine and don't bother to heat the strudel? Strudel. <laughs> uh, listen, ladies, I don't know what Elf told you about these cosmetics. Oh, never mind. Here they are. Is it okay if we open this oh, now? No, no, that's not a good idea. No, no. Oh, oh that espresso coming. And strudel. Uh, I'll see. Oh, Willie, did the mutton-free eye salve finally come in? Okay. Tell the gals to hang on. The food is on its way. What am I doing? We don't even have an espresso machine. Too bad. It's kind of standard at these parties. Look, let them start on these. I'll make some instant. You're not making anything. The party's over. Willie's not doing his card tricks again, is he? Oh, Willie, never mind the change. I'll take this and the guacamole skin toner, and we'll call it even. Willie, what's going on? I don't know, but uh, I think we sold something. Willie, will you take a personal check? Oh, I don't know. Uh, should we? Get some ID. Get some ID. Willie, I think I bought enough to qualify for the luggage. What luggage? Well, Alf told me I get my choice of either soft-sided or mock Norgahite, and I'd like to see them before I make my choice. I don't know what you're talking about, lady. Alf said you try to talk me out of it. Myrna, uh, forget the luggage. Just buy another $200 worth and take the trip to Dayton. You'll love the museum. It's marvelous. Great idea. I mean, do you think we're doing the right thing? I don't know. We've got no choice. We're in this up to our necks. Necks? Oh, that reminds me. Willie, dear, where is that neck tightener I ordered? Coming, Bunny. I'll be right back, dear. Cheese whiz. Hey, Tanner, the rest of your stuff is here. Should I back the truck up to the door or what? <laughs> figures are in. How much did we make? Not so fast. I need a drum roll. Just tell us. I'm not telling until I get a drum roll. Well, you give me that. Wow. Now, we did pretty well. Pretty well? We made it all back plus a small profit. Oh, boy! Can we get an air hockey table? No, I think we'll just use this money to pay for that phone call to Munich. You know, if we have a few more of these parties... No, can... no more parties, no more makeup, no more Terry Faith. Well, I want you all to know 
How much I appreciate your giving me the chance. You came through for me, and it all worked out. And now, I've got something for you. Lynn, tell them what they've won. You have just won a beautiful set of mock Nagahide luggage. Wow, that is really, really sweet. It looks just like real Nagahide. And that's only the beginning, folks, because next week we'll be packing those bags and leaving for beautiful Dayton, where we'll be spending three days and two nights at the beautiful Terryland Hotel. You'll be dancing and dining in the beautiful Eye Shadow Lounge and visiting the Terry Faith Museum, where Terry herself is on display, gorgeously preserved in the revolving crystal casket. To preserve the dignity of this monument, there will be no flash photography.